It is the year of the youth. Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens is launching this effort to keep kids safe from gun violence. The project looks to get kids into after school programs, internships and working with nonprofits. He believes this initiative can protect kids and help them succeed. One of the many nonprofits that was part of the mayor's year of the youth press conference is already hard at work. So that organization is helping channel the energies of teens into business success. Liza Luke is live with us in the studio to explain more how the water boys are now some official entrepreneurs. That's right. This is such an exciting program and we wanted to check in and see how it's doing. Those water boys got a lot of attention during the pandemic, selling water on street corners, trying to earn some cash, but there was also a lot of controversy and safety concerns. So this morning we are taking you to look at one of the nonprofits who helped find a safe solution. They're open for business and building a brand. For 15-year-old Elijah Reese, this space on Peachtree Street is a platform to success, a switch from selling water on street corners. The big difference is that basically like we got our own bottles of water now. It's called Hey Hydrate, and it's a special program run by Helping Empower Youth. The nonprofit mentors young black men on Atlanta's west side. And for the past year and a half, that's included a focus on entrepreneurship and water sales. Over the last three years, we've had a lot of conversation um, about young men selling water at intersections. During the summer of 2020, in the height of the pandemic, it was estimated that at least 300 kids and teens were out selling bottles every day. After a call for intervention, community leaders like Casey Venning stepped up, helping that. move 25 um, young men from the corners of busy west side intersections to the Hay Hydrate program. Really, we've been uncovering the long-term effects of poverty um, and how do we help minimize some of those effects for them through programs like Hay Hydrate, through the summer business intensive, through the STEM programming that we do. Hey Hydrate aims to fill the gap, offering teens a way to safely sell and make money while also working on entrepreneurial skills. And now they're just trying to spread the word. Make sure you let them know about us too. And while not every attempt to sell is a success. How are you doing? Would you like to buy some water? Elijah says the kiosk can still change minds. The reason I come out here is to show them that I'm not a pic like the picture that they usually paint us as. I want them to show them that I'm a respectful young man. Like I just want to make profit the same way that every, any other person want to make profit. Yeah, the teens really hoping to change some minds right there. Vinning tells me this is not just about the kiosk. Companies have also been buying the water in bulk, giving teens another side of the business. And some of the boys have even purchased a car. Some have even saved for a, an apartment as a result of these efforts. So pretty cool. Yeah, some support from the community. It goes a long way. That investment, right? Mm -hmm. Future business leaders. Yeah, no doubt. Liza, thanks.